Welcome to Eflux Effects Studios. Uh, today's tutorial will be taking a DAS Genesis 3 character and converting that for use in iClone version uh, 7.22. The we will also take some of the uh, we'll animate that character using some of the the uh, animations available in uh, Mixmo, which is free with the Adobe Cloud. So let's get started. So the first thing to, that's real important is go to your install manager and make sure you have the uh, ProBuild beta version of DAS. Uh, the, uh, if you just use your normal version, none of the facial morphs or animations will work. So make sure you install the beta. It won't affect any of your previously installed versions and you don't need to use them except when you're uh, working on exporting into iClone. So, Go ahead and open it up, and this again is the uh, Pro Build Beta. And since we're going to uh, load up a Genesis 3, in this case, I'll load up a Genesis 3 male. Once the character is loaded, I'm just going to make a few simple uh, uh, add ons. I'm going to go ahead and take under the surfaces and uh, add a uh, uh, an IRA, uh, an upgraded skin, and then I'm just going to go over to wardrobe and uh, put some clothes on them. So once I have that, that's the basic character we're going to export. And the uh, next step is to get the iClone uh, face key. And the best way to do that, and what I did is I just searched on iClone face key on my on my install drive, uh, I, I don't really know the path. I just found, I just searched on it and then copied it out of there. And in this case, we're going to take the Genesis 3 male face key and apply it. This will give you uh, all the uh, necessary facial animations that you'll need, again, to have this work in iClone. Now, it'll ask you a question if you want to go beyond the current frames. I, one thing I should have shown you uh, is make sure your FPS is set to 1. If it's set to 30, each facial animation will be repeated 30 times, and, you, and there's 81 of them, so you would have quite a, it would take a long time and it'd be a large file. So set that to 1. Then drag the Genesis 3 uh, face key, say yes, and there you go. You've got the 81 different um, uh, face keys. So let's zoom in on his face, and uh, so you can see the uh, the animations themselves. I'm going to go ahead and select, just so I don't forget, the Genesis character, and then slide him over, and you'll see all the movements, facial movements, uh, the eyebrows, and... Uh, Pretty well rigged. Now, some of these seem a little exaggerated. Don't worry about it. All of that can be fixed in, in, in iClone. So we'll, we'll take the character, make sure the character himself is selected, and that will bring in everything into our export. Click on File, Export. Then you'll see it's set to FBX. That's important. Give it a name. Uh, store, the, store the FBX anywhere you want it. And um, once you get that name, all you're going to do is click on Save, and the uh, Options panel will open up. Uh, leave it on FBX 2011, and then make sure your figures, animations, and morphs, embed textures, uh, merge the textures, and degraded skinning. Just leave all that how it is. Make sure everything's selected and listed below that you're bringing in. Under your export rules, just make sure you have the head, dot, and ignore if you don't. Just click on the add button and type it in. It's head dot and the actions ignore and click accept. I'm going to X out because I've already done that. Um, and just again, just to let you see it a little longer. And then once you've got everything selected the way you want it, it should look like this. Click accept. Take about five minutes to. Uh, completely create the character. If you would have left it at 30 frames, it might have taken 30 minutes or more, depending on your computer. Once this is done, the the uh, the FBX will, uh, you'll see the dialogue just uh, go away, and that's how you know it, it's done creating your FBX, and then we can move on. All right, so we're back. So, so now we're done with DAS, so we can go ahead and get out of DAS, and we will open up the 3D Exchange, and we'll bring the FBX into uh, the 3D Exchange. So just 
go to wherever you uh, you stored your animation, open it up. The easiest way you can is just to drag it right in. So just uh, move over to where you have your FBX and drag them in. There's, there'll be one new dialog box. All of these are very similar to what they used to be. Just leave everything checked. You don't have to make any changes and click OK. As you can see, progress is pretty quick here. Um, it, the file size is it's not overly large. Click yes. This is just mentions it, it recognizes that this is a DAS character. And all you have to do is click on yes. Then you'll have one more dialog. And this is just for the motion being updated. Just click OK. And then the next one should be the new one. There you go. And then this is if you wanted to apply the new iClone optimized for DAS. And it really helps a lot. It, it works well. So just click yes. If you if this happened to be a non-DAS character or you had something specific you were doing, click no and it'll still load the character just without the optimization. So click yes. And the first thing you'll see is in, it used to look, the characters used to look plastic when you bring them in. So this is a great improvement. Now, I always recommend do not mess with the materials in uh, iClone Exchange. Uh, the um, in iClone itself, you can work with the lighting and uh, lighting color, you know, tint, etc. And so, work there because that's where you're really going to be creating your scene. So, open up your expression editor, and it's under the face setup. And now, what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure the head and all the components are moving. If you want to see the bones, there you can just click on the little bone. No other uh, changes are usually necessary, especially with the DES characters. You can move the eyes around. Um, and again, just showing you, you can see the bones to the different selected items. Uh, you can adjust them over on the right if you don't like the way they look. Um, I have always just worked on that within iClone. I find that it's... Uh, you know, a lot of times I can just use the strength slider to get what I want. And then if you do make changes, though, you'll see there's the set. And then you can also have the auto, the little key. If you select the auto, any changes you made will be automatically saved. Uh, or you can save specific ones one at a time with the set button. So everything works. If Iseam works, go ahead and X out of there. And um, keep the character selected. And I'll just show you something here. Uh, if you click on the convert to non-standard, you can actually see the bones that came in. There's there's quite a few more than what you're used to seeing. Um, this character does not need to be converted, so just X out. Uh, I just wanted to show you if you want to see the, the bone structure itself, it's there for you. Um, let's go and um, we're going to apply it to iClone. So open up iClone. Uh, make sure nothing's selected in iClone because otherwise it will replace it with this character. So again, this is a brand new file, so I, I didn't really have to worry about that. But I have in the past accidentally left the character selected and, you know, had to kind of back everything up. So there you go. And you can already see why I said don't mess with the lighting. You can already see things are much improved uh, with the, uh, the way the character looks, the glossiness, the specularity. So really what we would first focus on is just when we're an, when we're finishing the scene is just the lighting and you may not even have to make changes to the materials. So that's a great improvement. So now we're out of there. Um, we've got a character in, in iClone that we're going to want to animate with, uh, with the Mixmo animations. Um, mouse and is acting up here, but if you slide up, and there's shortcuts, you can see them at the top, M and N are the most important ones. Um, I don't have uh, animation to set up, but you'll see that's, you'll import them right right over there on the right. So let's go ahead and hop into Mixamo. Uh, if you have the Adobe Cloud, it's free. It comes with it, just Mixamo.com. It won't show up on your uh, Adobe homepage, but uh, again, just Mixamo.com. And, um, one of the things, so go ahead and select care. I always like to do my, uh, when I'm doing animations, to use the uh, the Y-Bot. And so, and don't double click, just click once. Um, 
and then use that character it'll swap the character out and then if you go all the way over to the right just click on the x and it'll clear the animation and you'll have your t-pose we will need the t-pose as the base for all the animations that will then apply to the character in iClone so make sure your fpx and t-pose and not the fpx per unity and just download now we've got our T-Pose, so now let's find an animation, clear out the X-Bot, and I'll open some options for you. I'm just gonna grab one. So the Samba dancing is actually good because there's so much movement going on, you can really see if the bone structure and the animation is smooth, which is important once you go to putting all this together for whatever scene you're designing. Make sure you select FBX, whatever your desired frames per second is, without skin. I always do the animations without skin and click OK, because we're really just focusing on the, the bone structure itself for the animations. Um, once you've downloaded them, just go to your download directory, uh, copy them wherever, uh, wherever you need to. Uh, um, in this case, I'm going to bring them over to my tutorial directory. So now we've got these somewhere where we can uh, remember them and use them again if we have to redo anything and we can get out of mix mode. We don't need that anymore. So now we're in 3D exchange. Now I guess I'm going to show you some. So even though we have a compatible uh, character, if you click on current character, you'll notice it's an invalid animation. You cannot directly use Mixamo um, animations with this character. So what you're going to want to do, that's why we grab the Y bot. So we're going to drag the Y bot in and um, and replace the Y bot, you know, replace the existing character with the Y bot. And of course, we've already applied the data, the existing figure there. And so just import animation, smooth curve and adjust materials is fine. And there you go. So now you have the Y bot in. Now, now we'll have to convert the Y bot to a non-standard character. And they finally fix this. This has been broke for a while. So just go down and uh, you can see, by the way, don't don't select uh, DAS Genesis 4. doesn't work. This is uh, a Maya Human IK compatible. And as soon as you do that, you'll see the uh, the button go green in the, uh, in the over on the right. And so you know the character is good to go. If you needed to make changes to the face or the feet or if the feet weren't right on the ground, you could do that here. Uh, you have to tech to convert it you have to make this a character active let's do a test finger calibration is one of my favorites looks like everything's moving good leave it on active go back to t-pose select preview to get it to reload the t-pose and convert and everything's green so you're good to go and click ok and now you're ready to load your animations. It, the, the character is fully compatible with the Mixamo animations. So the um, we don't ap apply this to iClone. You just want to pull in the animation. This is just essentially a rig so you can bring the animations in and apply them to the iClone character. Use current character, smooth curve. Just click OK. And you'll notice now the uh, the animation is right there. So um, everything looks good. He's moving smoothly. We're, we're, we'll be able to apply this to our character. So, um, again, you have the T-pose. You could go in and import more animations, whatever you want. But let's open up iClone. Make sure your figure is selected. The, you can see the yellow brackets. It's pretty straightforward. Bring your, uh, on your timeline, go back to, uh, Frame one, uh, wherever wherever your cursor there is set is where the animation would come in. So bring it back to frame one in this case. Uh, you can bring it back different if you need it. But select the animation, apply to iClone, hop back to iClone, and look at that. You can see the animation. You can actually see the motion clip right there on the bottom. When you select to move forward, there you go. And, and look, the animation is smooth. It looks good. You could go in now and add some facial animations, whatever you want, since the character is rigged appropriately. Um, that's not really the scope of this tutorial, but you can see how you can bring a character in and then use the Mixmo animations. And this also works with any of the standard iClone characters. So it opens you up to hundreds and hundreds of additional animations that you get for free if uh, you're a member of the Adobe Cloud. 
So I really thank you for watching this. I hope uh, it was helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please take the time to watch our short film, The Soldier Within. We use Mixamo, Daz Characters. Uh, we use a lot of 3D assets. We worked in Blender and combined all of that to make this short film so you can really see everything uh, that we're talking about in play. So hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, have a great day.